I'm John Merck here. Time for a chat with our leader. The superintendent, David Munoz, is with us. We're in his office. We're getting ready for the holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and to everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for doing this. A lot of great stuff going on in the district. I know communication is important to you, and you host a series of coffees and meetings, and you're accessible to the folks who live here in the district. Uh, tell us about the coffees and the meetings. Yeah, I was excited to be able to get out, meet with a lot of people, talk to them about the goings-on in the district. It's something that I've been doing informally. Uh, but when we also formalized it. So I'm in the buildings quite a bit, talking to you know, students and staff, asking some questions, um, meeting with principals. Actually, I'm going to another principal meeting right after this uh, to meet with them individually and in groups, um, but also with parents um, whenever they choose to meet. I'll even meet with them here if they'd like, um, just to have conversations about the district as a whole. Sometimes it's finance. Mm -hmm. um, after the annual meeting, there was a lot of good conversation about the mill rate and about the mill rate being at the lowest point mm -hmm. um, in over a decade. That's um, great news. Which is great news. So we're excited about that, but also able to uh, have a robust fund balance and, and being a positive situation um, as a district. How important is it to keep the lines of communication open with your students? I know you like to be in the buildings, mm -hmm. uh, your staff and the community, people who live, work and play in Menominee Falls. Yeah, it's an important piece. And me living right around here, you know, I tend to, have breakfast at the Odyssey, mm -hmm. and I get into, you know, love the the salad place, Zupa's, I think <laughs> it's called, and, you know, there's different places in the falls that, you know, do the work here and spend money here. I do, I know other people do. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful community. Mm -hmm. um, great to be around everybody. Soup Casas is a wonderful place. Yeah, it is. Um, so they've been very nice to my family when my extended family shows mm -hmm. up to the area, which they're all doing around the holidays. So that'll be fun. I want to ask you to highlight a couple of important things that have been going on in the district. Uh, they're really positive things. The blood drive that just wrapped yeah. up. This was an amazing showing by our community. Yeah, it was 120 pints that were given out, wow. including one of my own. <laughs> so I was excited to take part. I'm a regular donor, but there were so many students involved. When I arrived there at 730 in the morning the other day, um, I'd say there were dozens of high school students that, That's great. of all the grade levels that were there to, to help uh, mm -hmm. you know, move about, uh, talk people through it. Once they're yeah. donating blood, that can always be a difficult time when, you know, you're doing that. So, and then afterward, you know, getting somebody to eat, make sure you're steady before leaving. So it was a wonderful experience. It was, it was for an, uh, a wonderful cause. One of our students in the eighth grade um, has come through a lot, has done a lot, um, was mm -hmm. present, family was present. So it's wonderful to, uh, to give the gift of life uh, right from our students and our staff. I love that. You know, another thing that people are talking about this time of year is inflation and how tough it is to pay their bills. And for some families, that's tough choices when it comes to food literally on their table. Yeah. And a successful food drive took place over Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was a great uh, food drive. And what I it was wonderful because it was all the students. Um, uh, Reese is her name, uh, one of our students, and she's been involved with this food drive for all of her four years here. She's a senior now. Mm -hmm. And there were truckloads of food that were wow. donated. Um, that, that were then just given out to families in need. Um, and these are students of the school district of Menominee Falls that are um, you know, helping those during a season where that's what we should be doing. That's so fantastic. It, it was wonderful to see. It was initiated by a student over four years ago. Hopefully it's something that mm -hmm. continues once she graduates and goes to college because I see it as a, a wonderful event. Superintendent David Munoz is with us. Strategic planning is upcoming, an important time of year for the district. Take us inside what that process is like and what that means. Yeah, strategic planning is going to kick off in earnest in January. So um, we've already had some initial meetings with it. We're working on building a steering committee. Um, but there'll be a series of focus groups and surveys that come out to the community. And that's a, a really good way for the community to be engaged. For, if you can't get to one of the focus groups, Certainly, there'll be access to surveys, so there's feedback in terms of broad questions about where uh, we're going to set up the district's strategic plan for the next five years. Um, so we're working a facilitator with Studer, um, yep. the Studer group, um, the well-respected group that has done uh, strategic planning before, um, and they're currently working with us um, with our scorecards mm -hmm. and our continuous improvement model. So we're excited to be able to, uh, to build a strategic plan. Um, they had one previously um, years ago, um, and it's uh, a little bit antiquated at this point. Yeah. So it's an important piece uh, to have in place so that we're structured about 
what the community is looking for from its school district. Um, we structure a plan based on that feedback mm -hmm. and then deliver that over four to five years, the next four to five years. Uh, school board elections will be coming up in the spring. The application process is January 2nd, so right around the corner. Mm -hmm. How important is it for a community that folks be involved, that folks step up and, and lead and have a voice and collaborate mm -hmm. with the district? Yeah, we have a wonderful school board right now, and, and anybody who chooses to uh, to try to take part, that's that's wonderful as well. But I mean, just looking at our, our current seven school board members, they're so engaged, they're so connected in the community. You know, I rely on them for, you know, they have a long-term investment in this district. They give me information about five years ago, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. just things, history that's good for me to know. Um, being that I'm from Fond du Lac, born and raised, not far from here, but still not Menominee Falls. Yeah, good Good to have a team that can help get Absolutely. you up to speed on the history. It is that, a wonderful sort of team, and, and I do meet with our board president weekly. I'm excited for that and have regular conversations with other board members um, who are representatives of the community. And you can pick up those applications at the district office. So the district office, a couple weeks leading into Christmas, you can come on in. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for Christmas? Are you excited? It's that Absolutely. time of year? Absolutely. Christmas is a great time of year. Most of my siblings are coming in. They live all over the country. I was just talking to my brother who lives in California. He's they, coming here? Yeah, oh, he nice. is. Yeah, he's flying awesome. in with his girlfriend, so we're excited. Let's get him some snow, maybe. Yeah, he works for Netflix, so he's like, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not used to the snow. He lives in San Francisco, and I was like, well, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up and... <laughs> I mean, he should be picking me up, right? Yeah, he should be getting you a <laughs> discount on Netflix is what he should be doing. He should, right? Especially with all the changes. Yeah. Right? Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. David Munoz is the superintendent here in Menominee Falls.